To finish off this animation, now that we've moved the lights within the composition, we'll create an overall camera movement as it approaches the basketball hoop. The simplest method is to use this composition as a new element that we'll place in another composition to animate it. Start by renaming the composition by right-clicking on it in the project panel and selecting Rename, or press the Enter or F2 key to rename it Animation. Now let's create a new composition, which we'll name Final. Elements in the project panel are sorted alphabetically by default, so by adding two underscores at the beginning and end of this name, we can bring it to the top of the list. Double-click on the Final composition to open it in the viewer, disable the option that displays transparent areas, and drag the animation composition as a new layer into this new composition. The animation layer is represented as a single container, even though it contains other layers. You can animate this new layer in the same way we did earlier, as if it were a new QuickTime animation. Since the source of this layer is a composition, we generally refer to it as a subcomposition. Press the S key to display its scale parameter. Create the first keyframe at the beginning of the animation and then move to 5 seconds again. Scaling this element to a value of 1.15 will automatically create a new keyframe. Adding this global scale to the scale that was only applied to the lights creates a perspective effect, also known as parallax. Change the duration of the final animation to 5 seconds. Now the animation is done. You can play it in a loop and fine tune the details before producing a video file to save on storage. Before wrapping up, here's an additional tip. We could have gathered the layers into a new subcomposition by simply selecting all of the layers, as we're doing here in the animation composition. Then, in the Action menu, applicable to the current selection, we could have combined these different layers to create a new subcomposition. We'll go over this in more detail in another tutorial. In this video, we went over how to add a composition within another composition, animate a subcomposition, and simulate a perspective effect.